babes to your breasts. Emperor Emir has marched his legions into our lands, laid siege to every fortress from here to the Blue Mountains. Rabid and ravenous, he bites and bites away. Men of the North, you stand at the precipice. Your kings have failed you, so now you turn to the god. But finding me proved no simple task. For having fallen afoul of Novograd's underworld bosses, I'd disappeared. Yet Geralt soon discovered my whereabouts, a cell in the dungeon of the Temple Guard. With the help of our friends, Geralt managed to free me. Good thing, too. For indeed, I knew what had happened to Sir. Sadly, she was no longer in Novograd. Pursued by bandits, then cornered by the Temple Guard, she had disappeared in a flash of light and a gust of heat. Where to? This I did not know. Ah! Damn, did you see the drool? It just it was a straight line down to my lips. Down to my lips, down to my lips. But yes, we're gonna do this for two hours. Two hours of game. It's gonna be spectacular, it's gonna be awesome, it's gonna be upbeat. Damn it. And that's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna annoy that. They even got a feeling like you're moving in the mud. It's crazy. It doesn't make any kind of sense. Zoltan? Get out! Those cards. You got them? Not yet. So why are you here? Miss me that much? This is no time for chit chat, Geralt. We need to get those cards. Fuck their clothes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit with my ass here and some of my clothes and put and I'll fucking get them. So let me see what to do. Uh, I just wanna kick this guy so bad. How do I get the code? There we go. Oh well, I can do a little bit, but I guess it's not worth it.
longer one. Two hours spectacular. Oh my. Smile is crazy on my mouth. Standing. You're here too yeah. early. We Crunch agreed to meet out. today. So we've come Crunch today. Out. Supplies Crunch are all hauled in and yeah. crews rare in to work. We'll start just as soon as our lovely directress gets round to deciding on the decoration. But Dandelion doesn't even have the coin to pay you. Turns out he does now. Or soon will. At any rate, he's working on it. See? It's all peach. So will you finally decide what style you want for this interior? Why are you asking me? Well, the lovely lady seems to be having a hard time deciding. And Master Dandelion said he was torn between boudoir style and theater decor. But that he'd let us know just as soon as we arrive. Now we're here, but no decision's been made. And the lady's horribly surprised she's to choose. <laughs> Though apparently this whole renovation's for her sake. For me? Well, it's not for me. Now, would you please decide where I bust a vessel? I've no idea what Dad's done. You've known him long. Say something. Sure, I've known him longer, but he's never so much as changed his socks for me. Never mind commissioning a full-blown renovation. He's doing this for you, clearly. You should decide. Mm. Both our lives have revolved around the stage. And Cabaret's a form of theatre, in a way. Fine. Let's do theatre day. I certainly hope it'll be to his liking. A wonderful choice it is. At last. Gentlemen, you're done lollygagging. Get to work. Well, well. Guess this cabaret's the real thing. Ever since Dandelion inherited this place, he's talked about it constantly. I just never expected him to take action. And so quickly. Who knows? Might even settle down now. I'll have to keep an eye on the business. Who would have known? Despite what people say about him, Dandelion approaches life very rationally. Are we talking about the same Dandelion? Man who loses a fortune worth half of Novigrad in one night? Dandelion can also be responsible. He always pays anyone who works for him on time, and he's never missed a performance. Sure, I hope your opening won't be the first. He's still not here. Well, well, he said as soon as he got the coin, he'd go see Polly, our choreographer. She's missed the last few rehearsals. I certainly hope he's not gotten into trouble. Anything's possible with Dandelion. Let me see if I can't find him.
know why I did that, but I get zero. I mean, I miss anyways. So, what's the last thing you paid, Gibber? Double shots. and her half-brained fiancé. They're fighting. She's the only one in this town who knows anything about choreography, and that lummox won't let her work for me. Oh, oh, hold on. What are you doing here? We were gonna meet at the Rosemary. We were, but you didn't show. Priscilla started to worry, so I came to see how you were doing. Priscilla started worrying about me? That's so nice. Less for her than for you, I'm sure. So let's get back. Did you not hear what's going on in there? We've got to help Polly. Why do beautiful women always end up with such dicks? No idea. Stand back. I'll break the door down. Wait! Do we have to destroy her house? She keeps a spare key around here somewhere. Fine. Let's find the key. Find anything? Betrothed. But I'm not your property. I love her. I'll not let her sway her ass in his brothel. Whoa, slow down there a minute. This is clearly one gigantic misunderstanding. One I can clear up in the blink of an eye. Shove your excuses up your ass. Shut up, or I'll split your skull. My friend asked you nicely, so please be courteous in return and hear him out. Or we'll settle this another way. All right. So, Hubio, right? Polly's told me so much about you. She said you're erudite and have an open mind. You said that? Well, there's a truth to it. My mind's the open salt. But its open saltedness ends when my betrothed starts wagging her ass around brothels. Get out of here, both of you. Polly's not going anywhere. Let him finish. There's no brothel involved. You see, friend, Geralt just hit the nail on the head. For what you have there is the old publicity placard. Old? Very. From a time when my establishment was under different management. I, however, would never let any indecency take place in my cabaret. My very reputation precludes it. So, what's all this about? Your betrothed is a first-class artiste, and I want to offer her a position worthy of her talents. She's to be my choreographer, and that in turn means she'll receive a share of the proceeds from every performance she choreographs. You mean to say, coin? And fame. No flirting required. You have my word. Hmm. Oh. Suppose... in that case... I knew you'd agree. It's settled, then. See you at the Rosemary, Polly. Well, I'm off. I'll catch up to you. 
Whew. Never expected that to go so well. Could have skipped all that talking if you'd left it to me. What, so you could smack him? Stop to think how Polly'd react to that? Think she'd be thrilled? What if he smacked you back and won? He wouldn't have won. So, time to head back? I've still got to stop by Rotlix. Commissioned some new placards from him a while ago, but Hubio came across the old version. Plowing artists got some serious explaining to do. I'll go see Rotlick. You head back to the Rosemary, where Priscilla will have my head. Really? You'd go? No, said that for the hell of it. Tell me where he lives. Portside. See you soon. Spectacular. Looking for Rodnick. You ain't alone. Damn halflings in debt to half the city. But I'm here to scrape mine for the carcass is pit clean. It's not enough for everyone, so bugger off. Feeding time's first come, first served. You're not gonna rob him. Strange, don't recall asking your permission. Get him, Fred! Any last words? <laughs> Tell me what you want, damn it! Placards. There ain't no plowing placards here. And Rodlick, where's he? Same place as always. Fakal Bud Estate, losing his last crowns at the races. See, wasn't that easy? Could have said so right away.
Let's go. Whoa there, Roach. Welcome, welcome. What would you say to a hand or two of Gwent? Uh, not gonna try to sell me something first? My goods are not swallows. They will not flip nor flee. Cards won't either. Do you wish to split hairs all day, or play Gwent, hmm? I'd like to take a look at your wares. Ah, uh, fine. Should be going. If ever you need a partner for Gwent, you know where to find me. Twin partner this year. Some in the bed, but you shall back out of the camp. You don't have much of a choice. Come now, Oscar. We can't allow that. Who they wage with then, eh? Yes. Here's what we'll do we'll make one more bet. If you win, I'll pay your debts and we'll continue playing. What do you say? And if I lose, one worry at a time, old chum. Well, I'll have to place my bet. around here, are you? You Rotlick? Henri Rotlick? Artist, painter, debtor, and martyr to my art. At your service. Dandelion sent me. Oh, yes. Tell him his placards are done and safely hidden away. Yet, alas, I cannot fetch them. As a group of angry creditors has seized my home. Think I might have run into one of them. Then you know my predicament. And now, Count de Louverton has offered me the chance to win it all back. I'm to wager on a race. What's there to worry about? This is your chance to settle up, get a clean slate. You've had a spell of bad luck lately. Should I agree to de Louverton's offer and lose, I shall be in bondage to him for all time. Let's do this. I'll enter the race. You'll bet on me, win, pay your debts, then give me the placards. You are that good a rider? Far from the worst. Go tell the Count you accept his offer. Come on, Roach.
I'm as good as dead. Time to flee to safer climbs. Cavier, perhaps. Let me pay off your debt. No strings attached. Thank you. I, I never expected this. May I ask to what I owe this generosity? Let's just say I like to do a good deed from time to time. Can we get those placards now? I'll bring them to the Rosemary in time. Just as soon as I settle my obligations. Fine. See you there. Come on, Roach. I'm gonna try that again. I don't want to pay 200, 275 coins for that. Wounded and tired, Siri collapsed in the swamp. Some peasants found her and took her to the barrel, fell in self-appointed route. The warlord took the young woman in, had her nursed back to health, then sent her on her way to Novigrad. Seems you're a considerable sum in the red, but you shan't back out on the temptation. Oh. You don't have much of a choice before long. Come now, old sport. Right. We can't allow that. Who'd I wait you with then, eh? You, Rotlick? Henri Rotlick? Artist? Pink? De oh, yeah. And now... What's there to worry about? This is your chance to... We've had a spell of bad luck lately. Let's do this. I'll enter the race. Fuck. That's it, Roach. Oh! 
Fuck, that was a hard way. Suck my thing out the window. Thank you. I, I never expected this. May I ask to what I owe this generosity? Let's just say I like to do a good deed from time to time. Can we get those placards now? I'll bring them to the Rosemary in time. Just as soon as I settle my obligations. Fine. See you there. It's gotten so I'm afraid to see the search. I never know when they'll accuse me of it. You heard some kobolds, some godless dwarves are going to cross. Use the Shia. Go, go. In the free city oh. of Novograd, only the human. Whoa there, Roach. Slow now, whoa. So, so, I suppose. Might have been days in the past when I'd have said, wonderful. But I can't complain. I'm in one piece. Not bound to a stake atop a pyre. Gotta admit, your Menga, it's a brilliant impersonation. Don't remind me. I'm rather disgusted. Come on, he wasn't all out terrible. You understand nothing. A Doppler assumes more than a man's external appearance. I've learned what a scoundrel had knocking about in his head. Once I became him, not an hour passed before I felt the urge to break her sorceress's fingers. After two, I caught myself lusting to impale someone, and immediately after that, it hit me. The paranoid fear of a Doppler conspiracy.
take care of yourself, do you? Oh, those bigots haven't the cunning to strip me of this mask. So, we start in G major and... <gasps> I told you, the piece is sad. Melancholy. Needs a minor key. But I wanted to ruin everything. We're starting you now. Well, see the crew's been hard at work. Not bad. I love it. Especially the, uh, accoutrements on the wall. Priscilla picked them. Well, I must admit, you have great taste. What about Rotlick? Did you get the placards? Rotlick said he'd bring them on his own. Should be here soon. Great! The best way I can think of to promote the chameleon. Never mentioned wanting to change the name. Rosemary and Time wasn't all bad, but it conjured images of Tamerian cuisine served by waitresses in peasant garb. Chameleon's a lot better for a cabaret, apart from which emphasizes that the place has undergone a transformation. Just a better ring to it all round. Guess everything's ready. So when's the opening? Soon. We start our dress rehearsal in an hour. I just need to knit back home for my dress. Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. Seems my cabaret dreams are about to come true. So, around to celebrate? I'm buying. Why not? That's my boy. The foreman mentioned he saw you and Priscilla talking. He saw right. And... she say anything about me? Uh-huh. She said you gained some weight. And that you should bathe more often. Very funny, Geralt. Shove it. Well, well. Never thought I'd live to see the day. Dandelion living in monogamy. I've always been monogamous. Well, near enough. I just change muses often. Priscilla, another one for your collection? No, she's its crowning glory. One thing's eating me. How do you manage to get the loan from Sophronia? Oh, wasn't easy. She got so excited about our performance, I had to read to her for four hours. Four hours from the cloak and the dagger. You mean you didn't... Are you crazy? Who do you think I am? Two hours special. She's late, of course. She knew how important this night was to me. Of course she did. Probably just making herself gorgeous. Takes time. So it's true. A woman's vanity knows no bounds. <laughs> Master Dandelion! Priscilla! She's... What? Speak, man! She's badly, uh, been attacked! They, they took her to Valmerius Hospital! Attacked? She's hurt? Geralt! Come with me, please. Of course, let's go.
Priscilla. Is she gonna live? Well, I'd say that's certain. Her condition's critical but stable. I beg your pardon, but you are a relative? Relative? No, a friend. A very close friend. Dandelion, correct? She uttered the name in her few moments of lucidity. I am Joachim von Gratz, head of surgery. Until recently, a lecturer at Oxenfurt Academy. Enough of the courtesies. What are her injuries, besides her eye? A concussion, cranial swelling, incision into her larynx, and scalding inside the throat and esophagus. Clearly someone forced her to imbibe a caustic fluid. Who could have done this? That I do not know. I do, however, know she is not the perpetrator's first victim. How can you know that? I've seen wounds like this. They're not the kind one would forget, don't you agree? In fact, just this week a corpse turned up in a morgue with similar injuries. And no heart. No heart? You mean that might have happened to Priscilla? Is someone looking into this? This is Novigrad. Only the innocent burn here. Geralt. I know I owe you a hundred times over, but I need to ask you another favor. Find the bastard who did this. Find him. And kill him. Don't need any convincing. Come on, Dandelion. Let's think about what we can do. I... I would suggest examining the previous victim's corpse. It has yet to be autopsied. Doing so could very well provide some clues. No need to look astonished, gentlemen. As a surgeon, I know the importance of preventive medicine. Rather than wait for this maniac to strike again, I'd prefer to excise him. Not unlike a tumor. Great analogy, but this tumor's not gonna sit there, wait to be excised. Appreciate the help, but I doubt you know what you're getting yourself into. I know perfectly well, and I assure you I can take care of myself. Easy assurance to make, harder to back up, especially if you've spent your whole life wielding a scalpel, not a sword. Look at this scar. Don't be shy. Any idea what leaves such a mark? A flail. Morning star, maybe. What do you think? A blow sustained at the operating table? No. Let me repeat, I know what I'm doing. And I wish to help. Think they'll let me into the morgue? By the main entrance, certainly not. But you can also get inside through the sewers. The sewers? Travel them often, Doctor? As often as required for, uh, the pursuit of preventive medicine. Alternative treatments. Aggressive ones, I'm guessing. Interesting. We can discuss this en route. Are you ready? and intrigued. I'll get whoever did this, Dandelion. Even if it's Hierarch Hemelfart himself. Thanks. in the sewers. What's that about? Thick. Sewing up drowner victims. Awfully. Hear that? Been hearing it for a while. Draw your weapon.
one, another takes its place. I know how you feel, believe me. Where to now? Up? Yes, it's not far now. Priscilla, how's it look? Give it to me straight, no sugarcoating. Her wounds will heal, but it's her voice that concerns me. Surely you understand what a terrible blow that would be to a Trobrit. Enough to strip her of the will to live. Any remedy for that? I fear only your friend Dandelion can be of help on that count. Quicker we take care of this, the better. Why? Got somewhere to be? Someone might disturb us. The coroner, for example. Or Reverend Nathaniel Pastori. Very well. We seek the corpse of a dwarven woodcarver. Got to this one. Let's keep looking. This isn't it. on the fingers, sawdust in the beard, clothes sticky with sap. Must be our dwarf. Excellent. I trust you don't grow weak in the knees at the sight of blood? Not a bit. Start the autopsy. Where? Let's look at his head. Hair smells like it's burnt, like he was in a fire. Notice anything else? That his eyes have been scooped out, for instance? Examine his torso. What have we here? Deep wound on the left side of his rib cage, and a scar the length of his stomach. Let's examine the chest wound. Yeah, heart carved out, wound cauterized. Wait a minute, there's something else. attended some lectures in herpetology as a student. I'm afraid I don't recall any amphibians that would lay eggs in corpses. 
So either Professor Cochran was deeply mistaken, or this is our murderer's doing. Look at the scar. Wounds long and thin. An incision. But the edges are ragged. Means nothing. Look, no swelling, no bruises. An old injury, perhaps uh, an accident in the workplace. Open the abdominal cavity. Uh, due warning, it will stink of rot. Once fought a zoogle up to my waist in sewage, so I doubt... Wait. Smells not rot. Formaldehyde. A medical novelty. Heavily diluted, it's remarkable at preserving organic tissue. In stronger proportions, it's more destructive than acid. Explains why there's no smell of decay, and why his throat scalded. Look at his hands. He's welts. Rope burns, right? He was tied up. I'd expect so. No one could sit through such torture unless bound. Speaking from experience? Yes, that of a victim. Spent a year in the dungeons of Tretagore. Long story. Some other time, maybe. See the callus? Our dwarf wore a ring, but someone took it off him. Enlighten me, please, because I've still no notion what this is about, what the motive might have been. Sure of one thing, this was punishment. Even the witch hunters don't engage in this kind of torture. What sin could possibly merit it? Only the murderer knows that. And it's the key to finding him, or her. It's a lead worth following. Any idea what his name was? Fabian Meyer. And I'm Hubert Reich, the coroner. I've come to perform the autopsy. And so you've done it for me, Joachim. And as always, you interfere where you're neither needed nor wanted. Drag others into trouble in the process. Who is this? A student. Lifelong learner. Got a couple questions for you. Very well, speak. But be quick. Reverend Nathaniel has come by for an inspection. He'll be here shortly. Woodcarver's body. Where was it found? It's important. Plan to investigate? Exciting. He died in his workshop south of the Market Square, just beside the gate to Far Corners. That poor Trebirates was attacked there. City's a buzz about it. But the woodcarver... Eustace, the corpse collector, brought us the body. You should speak to him. Saw him just around the corner, near... Oh, greetings, your reverence. Who are these people? I believe I made it clear no one's to be allowed in, under any circumstances. You did, but... They're friends of the deceased. Here to collect the body. Out of the question. Show them out at once. As your reverence wishes. Gentlemen, follow me. You shall leave via another route. Why do you cover for us? I was covering my own ass. If Reverend Nathaniel had learned someone had entered the morgue, then cut open a corpse without his permission, I'd be in deep trouble. But you didn't give that a thought, did you, Joachim? As ever. Well, while I don't approve of your willfulness, I also wish to see this murderer hang. So, should I learn anything new related to this case? I will let you know. Hmm. Thank you. I know him, thus I avoid him. I've said enough on the subject. Don't aim to press you. Thank you. I have nothing to hide. 
It's just an old wound, unhealed as yet. What will you do now? Plenty of leads. Woodcarver's workshop, the corpse collector who found him, alley where Priscilla was attacked. Got work to do. As do I. At the hospital. I must return there. But I shall keep my fingers crossed. And I'll keep my eye on you. Brained, all of them. Shot off. I'm a right and ready day. Awful bio. Give us a crown. How am I to know? Watch him, see what he does. Turn to the scene of their crime. Me and my brothers are waiting here to give him a warm welcome for Priscilla. Almost did her in the whole sun. I know. Here to look for clues and find anyone who might know something. I fear I can't help you much, but I can tell you what I know. You and Priscilla friends? Friends? Nah. But she saw more than a stupid whore in me. Treated me with respect. It mattered. I was looking to give up pouring, pick up a decent trade, but none would take me. Not as a washerwoman, nor a servant, nor a cook. Felt like a leper, I did. But Priscilla, she was different. Agreed to put me in her play, you see. Lots of the other actors, they were afraid on account of her jesting about the eternal fire. Whistling Wendy on stage, can you imagine it? Her well, dream's gone now. I'm back to Wilkins Street Corners. Sorry to hear that. You could do worse as work goes. Or so I tell myself. Take care now. I gotta look around some more. Appreciate it if you didn't disturb me. Naturally. We'll stand aside, behave. But do tell us if you find anything else here. So, what is it? Take care now. I gotta look around some more. Appreciate it if you didn't. Naturally, we'll stand as.
brazier this time of year? What do you want? I know that smell. Formaldehyde. Man's footprint, the murderer's maybe, weighed on his heel, took a step back. So, what is it? Priscilla wasn't the sole victim, you aware of that? Oh dearie, of course I was. This didn't start yesterday. Others have died like this before. Beggars, street girls, orphans. But who'd have a drama concern about them? Human rubbish. It's what the guards call us. Recall any names? They didn't have proper ones. Baldy, curly, buns. That's what folk called them. No friends, no families. Their bodies were burned long ago. Take care now. And I got a murderer to catch. I beg your pardon. Awfully suspicious to me, tramp. Kiss it. 
Anyone home? Be gone, or I'll set me hounds on you. Molly, Striga, come! Relax, I'm here about Fabian Meyer, looking for his killer. That's altogether different. Set you stupid much, lay down! Come on, come on in. Slowly now, lest they bite you. So who might you be? The Stiff's brother. Gus is the name. We ran a workshop together. Meyer and Meyer. Hmm. What'll it be now? Just Meyer? Name it. I'll be closing it down now. As soon as I find a buyer for this shack, I'll head on to Mahakam. You near my family or what's left of it. So, what do you want to know? What can I tell you about Fabian? Tell me what you know about the murder, in order, in detail. It was like this. Had some work in Oxenford, and I was coming home. Saw a plume of smoke rising over the city. Thought to myself, blast they're gonna miss him burn another hag. But the smoke wasn't coming from Hyrax Square. It was coming from here. See the soot stains? That's where they burned our sculptures. Folk gathered round the blaze, and found Fabian here beside it. They'd already loaded him on the cart by the time I arrived. Talk to your neighbors. They see anything suspicious beforehand? Hear anything? Claim not to. But even if they had, they'd not have helped. The Novigrad folk give bleak orphans in the street a wide berth so as not to stain their poor lanes. What do they care about some dwarf? Your brother have any enemies? Anyone dislike him? Threaten him, maybe? It was Fabian who threatened this one Lars. Oh, you were a good dwarf, a craftsman like no other. But you were an incorrigible whoremonger as well. Whenever we put a bit of coin aside, I'd say, let's buy some tools, quality timber. No, he grabbed the purse and head out whoring. Took to falling one in particular. He'd say, it is all your fault, dirty bitch, human dish rag. And other obscenities. Don't rightly know what that was about. Maybe he was in love with her. Know where I can find her, this dish rag? City Cemetery. She died a few days back, quietly in her sleep. Her pawn said a fever took her. Fine, we've talked enough. Need to look around. Be my guest. Just beware of the dogs. Statues of the old gods. Nothing but women. Shapely ones. something across the floor. More dragged it from one wall to the other, repeatedly. Bloodstains. That's where Fabian lay when they found him.
mind if I go inside the workshop? I've not even peeked inside since... since they found Fabia. But I'll open it for you if you want. Stains, but not near enough to say he bled to death. Unless somebody got rid of the blood, left a few stains behind. Eyes, humanoid, completely rotten. Fabian used it. Formaldehyde. Doubt Fabian used it. Furniture got knocked over. This looks like it was kicked. Hi. Already know what happened. Fabian was in the workshop. Murderer attacked him there. They struggled. Fabian was overpowered. Then tortured. For a time. I needn't know the details. Truth be told, I haven't the stomach for him. When it was over, the murderer dragged Fabian to the courtyard, then made a pyre of sculptures, set them aflame. But why? Why do all that? To teach a lesson. To him, you, the whole city. Fine, we've talked enough. Won't learn anything else here. Take care. wants to see you. Been another victim. Told me to say the main door will be open for you. You're to come as soon as you can. You, Eustace, the corpse collector? I? How'd you know? Fourth sense, I think it is. You bring Fabian Meyer's body to the morgue. Fabian. Oh, yeah, I remember. <laughs> no ice, no art. Uh, one of them, right? No purse mevers, as I recall. You search Fabian's body? Well, I uh, cast an eye in his pockets. <laughs> Made sure nothing went to waste. I call a spade a spade. You rob corpses. And I call a prick a prick. It's none of your fucking concern. 
What, your tax collector? Peace off, mutant. I'd advise you not to anger me, or you'll get an inside tour of the crematory. Touch me, the guards will be hiding your ass for you can't free. To save a little shit like you? Doubt it. Those clever lads, more cleverer than you. They know who's this, know they want me on their side. Cause you'll all die one day, and then I'll decide where your body winds up. A grave, the crematorium, or elsewhere. I'm not about to give him 200 coins to tell me what the fuck was in their pockets. That is stupid. We'll meet again. Aye. When I load you into me wheelbarrow. Fuck that guy. I'm gonna do a whole mission and get the Luciano 2. They're fucking paid 200 coins. There was a last London down here. Give us the evil eye. So our boy. Welcome, Master Witcher. Oh. Well, bloody bum. Fuck, 200 coins, I'll give him 200 coins and lose all my money. What, you ought to thinking? Won't tell you nothing, freak. That ought to for coin? Fine, have some. Now talk. What did you find on him? Triflings, baubles, glass beaded wing, handful of coins, and a letter. Look, vellum, quality parchment, that. <laughs> I wipe off the right inner cell, it is new. That's human skin. Priscilla, next victim's name. If you'd given this to the right person, she might not have been hurt. <laughs> what the fuck do I care what happens to some Priscilla? We short of wenches in this town. For everything. Look at my two little coins, but show the off. Don't know nothing else. Thank you. Hide the wench, you ah. witches, shot her. Stop staring at the kids, you're scaring them. I like rain. Keeps the roads indoors. Step away, Witcher. Can I do for you? Farewell. How do I get back here? Looks like rain. Geralt, right? I'm glad you're here. Held off on the autopsy till you arrived. Nice of you, especially given you didn't seem pleased about my previous visit. Because you came unannounced and in unfortunate company. I also had Reverend Nathaniel to contend with. Our spiritual caretaker has left the city on some important matter. And I know who you are, what drives you. I'm more than happy to aid your investigation. 
Let's start. Gladly. The wounds conform to the killer's modus operandi. The victim was bound and forced to drink formaldehyde. Next, the killer removed the eyes, placed burning coals in the sockets, then opened the rib cage and... What's this? A parchment made of human skin. A message from the murderer, the name of his next victim. Patricia Vagelbud. Gods, he knows no bounds. To attack Lady Vagelbud, heiress of such a prominent family. Where is she? Tell me. She resides in an estate beyond the city, north of Oxenford. Gotta find her, now. What are you waiting for, Geralt? The murderer could already be at the Vagelbud residence. Till next time, Master. What's he doing here? Straight for anything. Whoa. What do you want? Need to talk to Patricia Vagelbud. You think any bum off the street can her life's in danger. Let me in or have her blood on your hands. If you thought this up, and I'll let you in. I'll throw my ass out the door. Always thought a guard was supposed to protect his charge, not his ass. So be it. I'll take you to Lady Vagel, bud. Just no trickery. Understand? Yes, good fellow? If it's work, you see. Don't know that I'm all that good. Name's Geralt. Looking for Patricia Vagelbud. Her life's in danger. In danger? Come now. I saw her this morning. She seems sad, true, but in perfect health. I'm hunting a serial killer, and I've got reason to believe your mother will be his next victim. Why, even if it's true, our guards... He's exceptionally cruel when he kills, tortures his victims, cuts out their hearts. So let's see how she is, just in case. I find this all very hard to believe, but you appear to be quite serious. Please, follow me. A fire fit for Bellatane, except it's the wrong time of year. I mentioned Mother seems sad. Do you remember? In fact, she's in the midst of a crisis of faith. A rather serious one. We've been to Novigrad. Mother had seen the pyres in Hyrock Square. A 
uttered not a word on the way home. She had all the holy books, insignias, reliquaries gathered, taken outside and burnt. Then she locked herself in her room. We need to hurry. Hear that? Calm and quiet. All seems to be in order. We should go in, just to be sure. You're relentless, aren't you? Fine. But wait here, please. Mother's certainly not in the mood for guests. What the fuck happened? You got a tire in your fire? Halt! Or I'll put a bolt between your eyes! Listen, you got the wrong guy. Save your trickery, taking you to the heiress. <sighs> well, killer's already escaped. Lead the way, hero. We got him, Lady Ingrid. Wasn't easy, but... Lower that crossbow before you hurt yourself. This man is innocent! Forgive me. I saw him running. Thought it was the killer fleeing. I was chasing him, and I'd have caught him if you hadn't gotten in my way. Out of my sight, at once! Mother! Why did he do this to her? Why? Because she blasphemed the eternal fire. Only thing that ties her to the other victims. Ingrid, I know this is a hard time for you, but usually the killer leaves a note on the body. A note indicating his next victim. May I? Very well. But you should be on your own. I do not wish to see her in this state. I do not wish to remember her like that. And let her be the last victim. Please. Bruises, broken fingernails. She defended herself. Must be why it took him longer, and why he almost got caught. There it is. Sweet Nettie, crippled Kate's. Growing bolder, not just the name, but the place too. Won't get away this time.
Be gone, you yeah. work in this rain. Spectacular. Uh, about wrap it up in 30 minutes. In 30 minutes. When it's really 25. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Sweet Letty, where is she? Upstairs. But she's with a very important client. Do not disturb them. I've got to stop the murders. La, 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 la. Why out this nookie? I guess they're nookie, right? Good to see you again, Master. Hey there. Hey there. Looking for something unusual, are you? No, I'm gonna leave. Not this time. Thanks. You though, whole town will hear you in a minute. Yet again you disturb me, and I so dislike being disturbed. I was to play with sweet Nettie, render her not so sweet, but I shall see to you first. First, gotta tell me why you do it. For pleasure, satisfaction. <laughs> Achievable with whores in a lot of ways, many traditional. Doesn't take killing them, trust me. Who said anything about killing? I could stop at a few burns. Third degree, but still. Mm, this rosy skin will roast quite well. Just can't listen to any more of this shit. No one's forcing you to, mutant. Down. 
He won't hurt you anymore. He won't hurt anyone. Looking for something unusual? We can go at it here, or at my place. You choose. This life. Better, right? Y yes. Did you take care of what I asked? Yeah. The Witcher's way. Thank you, Geralt. For me and Priscilla. Did my part. Your turn now. Take care of her. Good care. I will. You'll see. Treat her better than the Dryads of Broccolon could. She's talking again. Nice surprise. Isn't it? Professor Von Gratz told me her wounds are healing faster than a troll's. Not the most flattering comparison, but encouraging. Maybe... She might even sing again someday. For now, we'll try performing as a duo. She'll play the lute, I'll sing. Dandelion and Kalanetta. Got a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Sounds great. Good luck, Dandelion. On stage and off. I guess we finished Dandelion's quest. So we can go help Trill. How do I get out of here? How do I get out of here?
soon. Soon. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Now we can go to Screeze. What's the best thing to do? All these side quests that we had to do. removed. Embers where the eyes should be. Mouth burned with formaldehyde. Familiar sight. And a letter. You sought a servant of the eternal fire, yet you were blinded by its flame. It wasn't Nathaniel. Damn it. Yes. Who are you here for? Triss. Told her from the start. No men, no pets. Tis a decent house for decent folk. Don't worry, won't stay long. Can we talk? Yes, girl? What did you want to talk about? I got a strange message. I don't quite know what to think. Who is it from? Ingrid Vagelbutt's servant. Apparently, Lady Vagelbutt's prepared to donate a tidy sum. She wants to help mages escape from Novigrad. Guessing this wouldn't be a selfless act of charity. You guess right. And that's my problem. Vagelbutt needs a favor from me. No details in the letter, unfortunately. I'm supposed to meet the servant at the fish market. Says he needs to explain everything face to face, but these days I can't be sure meeting him is a good idea. at all, but you seem determined. Not about to let you deal with it alone. Thank you. The servant. How are you supposed to contact him? Said I'd recognize him. 
He'll be in a blue tunic, have a load of keys strapped to his belt. I'm supposed to ask him about the price for his trout. Gotta be kidding me. He tell you to come holding a red rose? He doesn't mention flowers. But I won't refuse if you feel like giving me some. It's a fish market, Trace. Be able to get you some salted cod at best. Think it'll be better if I talk to the mystery man in the blue tunic. He's expecting to meet me. You just wait nearby. I'll make sure that note didn't come from the witch hunters. Then you come in. Mm-hmm. Fine. Let's meet there. Jerkins. Interesting. Yeah? yeah. Know where I can get the best price on trout? Perhaps. But it wasn't you I was to meet, sir. Wanna talk to the letter's recipient? I gotta be present. Caution would advise. Caution's advising you not to argue right now. Trust me. Seems I've got no choice. Come with me. This way, sir. It's not far. They want from you. I've no clue. First time I've laid eyes on them. Maybe. Well, recently someone's been trying to question our messengers about the young count. Hold on. Where's Miss Merigold? You would come alone, Miss. If not for him, that trio would have dragged you in for questioning. The tall one was Valdo Morris. Works for the witch hunters. Aye, you're surely right, Miss. I it, it just weren't what I expected since Lady Bagel Bud. So what's this about? Be straight. Lady Vagelbud's son, he's the problem. Master Albert's taken an interest in alchemy. Temple guard's gotten wind. Wouldn't worry about the guard, but since the mage hunters tried to grab you, I'd say Albert's in serious trouble. Aye. Lady Vagelbud bought off the guardsmen. Since the hunters paid for every mage revealed to him. Guardsmen took a bribe from the frightened family and whispered a word to the hunters anyway. Seems Albert needs to disappear as soon as possible. I can arrange that. Think young Vagelbud can slip out of the house unnoticed? Tain't that simple, sadly. 
Master Ralph was in hiding at the Vagal Bud's country estate. Lady Ingrid's got the notion she can get him out quietly. Want to throw a lavish masquerade ball. Am I supposed to attend? Help him escape? I will not manage without you, miss. Lady Vagalbud fears the help's being watched. It's a good idea. A boisterous bash that'll distract the hunters. Especially if even half of what I've heard about the Vagalbud's balls is true. Word is, at the last one, they served a hundred different desserts, and the fireworks boomed from dusk till dawn. What with the war and all, my lady's ordained but 85 desserts this time. Won't be no candied petals or blue roses from this air. The roses have become dreadfully hard to come by. Oh, I'd love to see it all. I hope we won't have to stay till the end. And you're coming with me? Of course I am. Not about to send you into what could prove to be the lion's den by yourself. Think about it. 85 desserts. While you're still trying to keep your waist at 22 inches. Geralt, please. How do we get to the residence? Your invitation. Take it. Guard at the gate will have instructions for you. You're to wear a fox mask, right? Good luck to you. Something I need to do first. Fine. Buy our masks while you're at it. And you should change. Ball attire. I bet you can get everything we need for the ball at Ellie House shop. You know it? Been there before. Eliel's a friend of Dandelion's. Just masks, right? Probably don't need to wear a doublet, do I? A doublet, Geralt. And it's not up for discussion. Take care of that, then come and see me. Yeah, so...